And the fan Shoot as well. As this one comes out to the line, swept in by Callendike. Cocksmith giving chase. Feimster there as well. They send it out to the point. Palmer lower drive. Scores! <laughs> take long. Jacob Kallendike in front with the redirect and it's 1-0 LU. Yeah, perfect low to high movement up to the point by Feimster here and a great shot by Palmer Lowe. He had all the time in the world to get rid of that one. Awesome tip by Kallendike. Well, that doesn't give Lucas Brown much time at all to get a feel for this game and your leading goal scorer and point scorer from a year ago gets his first of the season. Excellent skater getting in on the four check separates the man from the puck flames with a deep quick shot off a stick pad save made That puck goes in the net. They're gonna call it a goal Looks like Tucker Shields gets his first as a flame I think the UNC players around the net are just as confused as I am red I, I didn't see that one actually go in Here's the first opportunity. Bogan home towards and that hits a stick. Pat save was made. And it must have been from our angle that obviously covered up by bodies, but Tucker Shields gets to it, scores his first goal as a flame, and it's 2 0 LU with 6.14 remaining. Barker absorbed the hit, knocked his man down. Puck was turned over though. Here's O'Shaughnessy walking in, scores! Cox blows a tire, and the captain finds the back of the net to cut the Flames' lead in half. And if there was one player you did not want that, to lose that puck to there, it's O'Shaughnessy. A turnover in the zone. Barker takes the hit, loses the puck. You see Cox blow a tire. It went from bad to worse. And a nice trigger here just over the pad on the stick side. Perfect placement. For the Tar Heels opening goal. Morton looking. That's blocked. Morton again. Cross ice. Bogan home in front. Ratzlaff scores. <laughs> nice puck movement by the Flames. Ratzlaff did not get full wood on it, but just enough to sneak it through the wickets. That yeah, great puck movement by the Flames, especially starting with Morton there. He was looking one way and past the other, all the way across the ice to Bogenholm, who uh, found his man in the high slot and made no mistake. Didn't seem like he actually got good wood on it there, Rhett, but I mean, they don't ask how, they ask how many. That's right. Taking away a lot of time and space. This one, sent ahead. Ratzlaff looking for a second of the night. He gets it. <laughs> Number seven doubles down. And it's 4-1 Liberty. It's going to be a good feeling to get your first couple goals in your first game of, of college hockey, eh, Russ? Nice to be a shorty to boot. Another good kill, though, by the Flames, doing, doing a good job of holding the blue line. And for the Flames, simplify. Feimster yeah, said it, you want to simplify. Yeah, we heard Feimster say it, and it probably sounds really old from a hockey fan perspective. But and it can't get much more simple than that. A Kallendike wrister finds the back of the net. It's tried, tested, and true. He's got a great release, and he shows it off there. Yeah, we've seen that all too, all too often over the last three or four seasons, but great bury from him. I think it was back bar. Great angle from it here. Just, yeah, finding its way in. You're right. Finds that back post and bounces right out. But kind of like you said it I mean it's a it's a simple play you got a clean entry off the glove another shot stop low by Brown good forecheck here by LU Olsen in front Fitch scores <laughs> that's 
that's what we're talking about with this Liberty team. They get pucks behind the UNCD, four check hard, quick trend, quick move it from below the goal line to the, the upper slot, and Finch just a beautiful catch and release off the inside of the post here. Yeah. Quick trigger by Finch, his first of the season. It's 6-1 Liberty. That goes off a pair of shin pads, Feimster. He tracks it down, Feimster, shot scores! Well, he had been knocking on the door all night long. Finally, short side high for his first goal of the season. You know he's got to be happy about that one, but what I love is that it starts with a shot block in his own zone on the PK. He books it down the ice. Just great finish in between the in between the crossbar and the back bar there. But yeah, like you said, he'd been knocking on the door all night, had a few really close chances, and happy for him to see him put one away late in this game. Opening night victory on homecoming weekend for the Flames as they will move to 1-0 in this young season. Two to start his career, the captain Sam Feimster with the last shorthanded and a successful opening night for the Flames and a successful night as well for the Tar Heels moving to the ACHA Division I level in a year's time. Well, once again, Flames back at it next week, taking on Florida Gulf Coast University. Cream of the crop, really, a lot of people say when it comes to the Division II level. No offense there, Christian, as we'll be back with you then. So for Christian Garland and Brett McGibbon saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia, the final score here is 7-1. All games airing on the ESPN Networks so are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.